Today I'm going to be answering one of your art questions about which brushes that I like for acrylic painting. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. I am just starting out on my journey to purchase my supplies to start painting with acrylic paints. I have found your suggestions on type of paints and canvases, but I have not found your recommendation on brand or brands of brushes. Any help would be appreciated. I really enjoy your videos and you have inspired me. Now, for brushes, I don't have a specific brand. Like with canvases, I love Fredericks. I only use Fredericks. With paint, I only use certain brands. Brushes are a little bit different. I will use any generic brush as long as it's decent. Because with brushes, it's not an issue of, is it going to be light fast? Is it going to stick well to the canvas? Is it going to blend well? With brushes, it's not as big of a deal as long as the brush has the texture that I want or the feel that I want. So there are three main types of brushes that I use. The first are Taclon bristle brushes, both the white and the gold Taclon I like. These brushes are kind of a happy medium, not too stiff, not too soft. They're just really nice for acrylic paint. And with these, I will go with filberts, flats, liner brushes, and rounds. With all of my brushes, I'm going to want the longer tipped bristles. I don't want the little teeny short guys that are like a quarter of an inch long. What happens with those brushes, paint is going to build up near the base of the bristles here. So over time, that's going to cause the bristles to start doing this. If you've got a longer bristled brush, it's going to last you a lot longer and you are going to be able to get longer lines. There's just a lot of benefits to using the brushes that have the longer bristles. Now, I don't mean the ones that stick out like this far that gets a little excessive, but for these ones, you can see on the photo I have here, just this nice kind of medium length bristle. Now, especially for the liner brushes, a lot of people will think the smaller the bristle, the finer the detail I'm going to get. Nope. You want those long ones. Those long bristles are going to get you a much finer line than a short little bristled brush. Trust me on this. The next set of type of brushes that I like are the synthetic hog hair. Now these are gonna be a little bit stiffer. I don't have a lot of these brushes. I have a lot that are these round brushes. I use these for doing trees and bushes and landscape type things, and for some types of blending that I do where I'm blending wet into dry. But for, mo for the most part, applying the paint besides those techniques, these are gonna be a little bit too stiff, so they're gonna create brush strokes for you. Sometimes that's a look that you want though. So there are times that I do like some of the flat br bristled brushes with these, but for the most part, I will either go with a liner brush. I do love the synthetic hog hair liner brushes. They're even easier to get fine detail, in my opinion, than the Taclon bristled brushes. But other than that, I usually will just stick with these round ones for dabbing, getting stars. There's just a lot of different techniques that I'll use these with. Now with these rounds, I don't do a good job cleaning these intentionally. I want them to be damaged and more stiff. As they get stiffer over time, they work better for the techniques that I'm using them on. Now, I'm not saying coat it with paint and let it dry overnight. That's not gonna work for you either. But as they slowly get a little bit stiffer and stiffer over time, that is better. So these ones, I do not use any brush conditioners or cleaners to clean. Whereas my Taclon brushes, I definitely do. The last type of brush that I use are makeup brushes. These are mop brushes. Well, they're mop brushes with art supplies. But with the art supply ones, they shed so crazy. If you get the makeup brushes, they do not shed as bad and they do the same thing. This is how I do my wet into wet blending. I'll have a video pop up here that'll talk more about that. This one is my absolute favorite. With these brushes, you want as long of a handle as you can get because you're gonna hold the hand your brush from the very back. But you want a lightweight handle too. This brush here, it's got a great long handle. The bristles are great, but the handle is heavy. And so I can't keep as light of a hand as I need. This one is kind of a happy medium. The handle's not as long as I like, but it's long enough and it's so lightweight that I can keep a really light hand with it. So these are on my must have list with acrylic paints. Now, as far as brands go, again, generic is fine. Hobby Lobby puts their generic brushes, the Masters Touch or something like that. They go on sale for half price, like once a month, maybe twice a month. I don't remember how often, but I will just go stock up then. You can get these brushes for super inexpensive. You don't have a Hobby Lobby near you. Another option are these soft grip brushes. These are the Royal Soft Grip. They are really inexpensive as well. If you just do a Google search for them, usually they cost more on Amazon than if you buy it from another website, but the Royal Soft Grip are definitely good too. I almost hit myself in the face with that one. I should stop swinging that around. But if this video moved a little too fast for you and you want to look closer at these brushes, I will have a blog post over on my website that, that will show you photos of the brushes that I'm using. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. If you cannot find the answer to your question there, there is a spot where you can submit your own question to be featured in one of these videos. I will have a card pop up here. You can check that out. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs every Saturday. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. All of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys in a few days.